that story because anybody without the fear of God is gone. If a couple has Jesus in their marriage, in their relationship, in their house, there's nothing like, you know, killing one another. It's because, number one, they don't love each other. They are like roommates. Even roommates can love each other. But when two people who have taken a vow, he said, for better, for worse, and they turn out to be enemies, and they allow demons to come into their hearts, the Bible says, blessed are pure in heart, because they will see God. They are gone. They are gone. Because remember, the Bible says, the evil spirit came into the heart of Judas, who was serving his masters. And he sold his master with a lot of token of money. So, so what is happening? I, you know, we pray for people, we cancel people every day, couples. My goodness, the level of divorce and separation in Western world is just too much because people can't tolerate each other. Why? They don't have Jesus in them. Marriage is tolerant. Marriage is trust. Marriage is love. Marriage is, I mean, you must understand each other. You must marry a man and a woman that God gave it to you. Sometimes we choose wrong partner. <laughs> Sometimes we marry unbeliever. Because when you marry a man or woman who don't know the Lord, you, <laughs> there's an error there. Because you're going to create a problem. Maybe when things are going wrong, instead of you praying with the man or with the woman, there's a problem. So, you know, the church really, really needs to rise up. The marriages need counseling all the time. They need to pray for couples because that is where the devil goes in to fight. Two individual people comes together with different attitude, different character to emerge together. So they need prayer. And they allow the systematic of this nation to come upon them. They no longer remember that marriage is for life. You must, the Bible says, it says, husband, love your wife. Wife, submit to your husband. You know, people here, but not just men alone, women here are very arrogant. Some of them, you know, you know, they don't want to respect their husband again. The men too don't want to love their wife again. So there's a chaos and crisis in the family and it's affecting the children. So, but I pray that God will visit every marriage. God will turn things around because it is demonic spirit that is operating these days. So in other words, first thing, mm. for those of them that are not married already, mm. seek the face of God before getting married. You are right. You must inquire yes, from God before you get married. I told them everywhere I go to minister, I said, never you choose a man or woman by yourself. Let God be involved. And when God is involved, you see, no matter what is happening, there's no perfect marriage, but God will take control of it. And I mean, it should be somebody you love too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when you don't love a man or a woman, there's a problem there. <laughs> you can do anything. Within the African community, mm. There has to be a nurse. It's not because God has led that person. The wife has to be a nurse, or somebody within the family has to be a nurse. And they're not really, people are not thinking over or going even what they are talented in. I mean, this is totally unacceptable. I told people, I tell them anywhere I go. A, a lot of men, they got married before, and the wife is not a nurse. They are looking for a way, if the wife does refuse to go back to school to become a nurse, you see, they are looking for a way to kick the woman out and to, so that they can remarry to a nurse. That is not love. I'm telling you, if a man listening to me right now, wherever you are, if God does not destine your wife to be a nurse, don't force her because you're, you, you are doing a wrong thing. And you know, if God has given you a wife, love her, whether she's a nurse or not. Because the motive of that man is not about love again. It's about the wife coming to make money for him. And that is why problem comes. Because you deceive your wife after some times. It's going to be exposed. So, so you're using me instead of you loving me, working mm -hmm. together.
-hmm. So that is why you're seeing all these things in African community. They are, they, some of them divorce their wife, whom God gave to them, who they used to love, and go and started looking for a nurse mm -hmm. to get married. So that will bring money. Mm -hmm. Marriage is not for money, no longer love. When God said marriage is honorable in heaven, they are now making money is number one. I've seen a lot of people who say, if my wife cannot pass the exam, I say, all right, I'm going to divorce, I'm going to kick her out. I mean, this is very wrong. They make women to be depressed. <laughs> Confusion in the house. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes, oh, some of the, these women that are nurses, oh my goodness, mm. they look at their husband as a trash. You know, so it goes back and forth. Yes, yes. yes. So, so you don't blame men alone uh, because oh, today you have become RN, you have become a pharmacist. You are no longer respect your husband because you make money more than your husband. But the Bible say, woman, wife, submit to your husband. No matter how your husband look like, he's still the head. The Bible says men are the head. Um, since you're going there, I'm, I'm going to go there then. <laughs> I'm going to go there. All right. w but what about the men that are not taking the responsibility of being the head? You see? And uh, again, uh, quite all right. Uh, the, the women are taking it out of control. Uh. But some of our men, they migrate into this country and they sit back. They start behaving. They, they, they forget what their responsibility is, that they are the head of the family. In that situation, what do a woman do? What do they expect that woman to do? She have to go on her knees for prayers. Prayers is the key. Women that are talking too much cannot solve their problem. A praying woman will always humble a troublesome husband. Women, listen to me. If you can pray, I'm telling you, the Lord will take care of your husband, take care of your marriage. It's not about fighting, because these people, you know, they are fighting. They don't want God to take control. They don't forgive each other. You know, you know, devil doesn't want to see light shining. He has to come and cause confusion. And you know, when two people are in the house and this one says, I'm, I'm the boss. There are two men and women, husband and wife cannot be, two people cannot be boss. I am the boss. You know, look at you and your husband. You know, your husband was, is asking you, honey, do you want to drink water? I mean, I watch you and your husband. I mean, not just today, first time I met you guys, look at how you are. You know, very sweet, very nice, humble, you know. So this is what we are expecting in marriages, you know. I know there are some lazy men. They just sit down, they want the wife to make money, but that is so bad. The man is leaving his responsibility to make the woman to become the head. Even God is not happy. You're going to create a problem to yourself because the woman will get tired. And you know, another thing I, I, I you know, I notice in America or maybe somewhere in the Western world, um, you know, when you know that you get married as a man, your wife is under you. But you don't have to treat her as if she's an animal okay. because she's part of your life. Mm -hmm. But you know, I look at some husband here in abroad. They said to the wife, um, we have bills in this house and um, the bills is 2500 and um, the mortgage, you pay mortgage, I pay light bill, I do this, I do this. This is a problem. <laughs> it in the took the, the easier oh part, God, the easier oh way God. out. <laughs> this is a problem. This is a problem right there. Listen, you don't let your wife to control the house. Let She's a helmet. She needs to support you. If your wife loves you and is faithful, when she receives her paycheck, she's going to tell, honey, my paycheck is ready. Not for you to say <laughs> authoritatively, look, you have to pay electricity, you have to pay water, you command the woman. I mean, <laughs> oh my God, it's absolutely wrong. It's absolutely wrong. There should be that chemistry between a man and a woman. They understand each other. Not for you to say, you are the one to, mortgage is 1500 bring 750 and bring 750 Who is the head then? So when do this prayer line take place? Um, every Tuesday, every Tuesday, Eastern time, 11 p.m., mm -hmm. 11 p.m., every Tuesday by the grace of God, every Wednesday, 12 midnight. We pray with people all over the world, all over the world. You can just connect. The phone number is 712 432 0075.
www.solutionoutreach.org. Everything about us is there. Go to the website. Your life can never be the same. Thank you so much.